Okay, so we're here, we're loading in. We have the best booth ever, ever. Say hi, girl. Hey. Yeah, so excited. So we're booth 509, which is literally, that's the World of Wonder booth. That's the front door. We're right here. Right when you walk in, first thing you see, bobby pins. Pretty freaking excited. And we're gonna start counting boxes, seeing what all's here, and moving stuff around. Here I am catching a bobby in his natural habitat. Taking apart things and putting the booth together. So we are partially set up here in the booth. So we have grid walls here with some styrofoam heads for display. And we got some glass cases here. And we're gonna put the styled raffle wigs in there. And then those are all the heads up top for the raffle wigs. And we got my little poster and chair for fittings is here. And then we have another table here. And then we have another, we have four, four of these wall things here. That's gonna have lots of fun things on the inside, fun little accessories and stuff, some fun surprises. That's, that's, that's day one of DragCon. Day one. That only took what, like two hours? Yeah. Two hours. Took us down there two hours. Give or take two hours. Yeah, something like that. Down there. Down there. I, I, I need can... to eat that. Yeah, me too. Okay, we're gonna go eat food. Yeah, I'm gonna go down for Manny's. Go get a sandwich. Bye. Bye. So we are at the Rockwell table and stage right now, recording to you live. Come on, Devil Wears Prada Unauthorized Parody, brought to you by the lovely Miss Kate Pazakis right here. Backstage at the Rockwell, I just touched up the Miranda wig. She looked real cute. And I have a very special guest star right now and it is the lovely Miss Kate Pazakis. If you guys don't know who she is, you need to Google her right now. Cause she's like house down boots, shoes, sandals, Prada, shoes, everything, the tits. She's super preggers. Look at this, she's having a little baby Gigantic boy. Gigantic belly, look at mm -hmm. that, huge. Yes, we're all excited. I'm super excited. I did her hair for her wedding. I did. We over the summer. my wedding because I couldn't find the keys to the car <laughs> because they were in my husband's pocket. Oh, they were, I thought your mom had them in her purse. No, they were in my husband's pocket. Oh my God, and he was already there. So. I'm gonna insert the picture right here of when that happened. <laughs> it was my Facebook picture for a very long time. It's really funny. Yeah, but, um, <laughs> so yeah, so that's, that's that. So we're gonna go watch the show. The wig looks real cute. Kate looks real cute. And we're excited to be here, so yay! Hey everybody, so right now we're getting ready for VIP preview night. And we're almost all set up right now, so I'm gonna flip the camera around and show Yin's gaze. <gasps> are those my bags? Those are my bags! They weren't. They were shipped ground instead of one day, and they just got here. Yay. And I'll show you guys, they're really awesome. Um, so, thank you so much. So here we have some of the wiggies that we have for sale right here. This one's crooked. Can't be clocking people on RuPaul's Drag Race for having a wig crooked if a wig's crooked on a head, you know what I mean? These are for my friends that are gonna come by and be my models and hand stuff out. We got a little wall here with some colors. These are my raffle wigs. So I have a black updo right here with some jazzles in it. And there's a jazzle on the other side that you can't see. And then I have a pink and white. And I have a red guy right there. We have some more stuff in the middle and my poster. That's me. And then we have the other raffle wigs here, which is a gray Doris, a blonde girl, um, a lavender girl, and then we have some more jazzles down there that I'm selling. And then I have some, another jazzle and some pins and a shot glass and a mug. And then here is a table that is not ours and it's just here for some reason. And then this is my display case that I have right here. So, And then we have some more wigs up on top there. So, did you open them already? Yeah. <gasps> okay, I wanna show the I'm gonna show the people at home the bags. So the front of the bag is normal, it says bobbypins.com on it right there, you know what I mean? But the back says hashtag it's called a wig. Not a unit, kill yourself. Alright, so we're all set up. I changed, I got my little jazzle on. This is World of Wonder with all the queens. Look, they photoshopped Bianca in. Look at that. That's the booth, and I got Rue and Nicole both in wiggies. 
So, Ruth Ann is wearing a brand new color that I just got in. This is the dark rooted gray amethyst ombre. And I did a cute little braid, do a little spin. I did a cute little fat braid on the back of it. She cute. Yes, diva. And then the lovely Miss Cholo Nicole. She's wearing a summer in a color 60, and I gave it a nice big fat old Elsa braid. Ruth Ann's laughing at something right now, Lord and it's distracting me. Nice unit on my picture. <laughs> I hate her so much. <laughs> Lauren Salerno, Mosich. I hate you. <laughs> it's like three, close to 320 something right now, so we're waiting for VIP preview night to start at four, and then we'll be out of here at nine tonight. And we have to go check into our next Airbnb, which is a whole complicated thing with like, you know, a TARDIS and like a magic wand and a trap door and a labyrinth and all kinds of stuff like that to get the key to this damn place. So of your neck, I will need you to leave the building. Going on a hunt for Ivy Winters. I heard she's here. But we're also gonna look at all the fun boots and stuff. Jewelry, scrumptious jewelry. Great, great. Some really cool costume type things. That's cool. And then, oh, look at this car you have. That's pretty sweet, right? It's pretty cool. It's like a rhinestone car. I'm really close to the camera. Let me see. They said that the drag queens are all along the back. So I don't know where she is. Oh, yeah. Gorge. I don't know. I don't see her. I'm kind of like over it right now. Where are you at? Lots of people. There's some costumes over here. Yes. Some costumey things, jewelry things. Oh, those are really fun dolls and stuff. Lots of booths. Naked people. Um. Tax services, lots of empty booths. Booths where there's nobody here yet. Lots of jewelry. Oh, there's a guy sweeping. He needs to come do my booth because it's nasty. Let's see. Girl, pet wigs. Yes. Pet wigs. Notice how it says wig and not unit? That's all I'm saying. Some cool buttons. Ooh, there's cool buttons and stuff here. That's fun. Some more booths, a vintage store. Oh, Rock and Betty, oh my god, I want everything. I want this red dress. Look how cute, I want it really bad, okay. Let's see what else is here. Ooh, lots of jewelry over there. Some wigs. Got some amazing hair over here, I am jealous. This is some hair, yo. This orange one is like fierce to house down boots, girl. Amazing. Got some corsets. Got some oh, Yeti puppets. They're so cute. There's some people dancing around. Oh, we have bobby pins. Oh, Hi. Yes. I bought it in New York. They're talking. Oh. That's a simple ring. They're talking about my brooch too. So, oh, darling. Yeah. So simple. if people yeah. don't realize who you are, who are you? My name's Anal Fatal. A-N-A-L-F-A-T-A-L-E. Anal Fatal. Anal Fatal. Anal add the O. I've never known how to spell it. I need another one over here so I can be like, Titty, titty. My lovely people at Art of Wigs, and they're not here. It is VIP preview night, so I don't know if everyone's gonna be here or not. I saw RuPaul, like the real RuPaul, and the wax figure RuPaul, both of them at the same time. It was crazy. I got kind of like fluttery. I didn't say anything or do anything. Um, Ivy's not here, by the way. I found her booth, she was in there. Transcendent, ooh, that looks like a cute show. Yeah. Yes, I'll watch that. Light up jacket. Some wigs and stuff are over here. Those are all really pretty wigs. I like their table. It's cute. Oh, look at Look at the pony with the big eyes and the unicorn. Oh, look at the puppies. I literally want everything. They are so cute. Um, these hat things over here are fabulous. Like a maze. It's like amazing. And then we're gonna be back at my booth. This is Corset Connection. They're my behind neighbors. I love them. And then this is an amazing vintage booth right here. And now we're going back to my booth. Right here is lovely Miss Suzanne Malsh. 
Fat friend Suzanne. My fat friend Suzanne, looking so cute and pretty. I was literally like going around with my camera. I'm like, where's Ivy Winters? <laughs> I haven't found her yet. <laughs> I know because I was. They are starting to line up, zooming in. Look at all the peoples. Starting to line up. VIP preview night starts open to the public in about 20 minutes. It's about 20 to 6 right now, and um, yeah, so, so, oh, by the way, I did get my eyebrows done today, and she did a really good job. I went to this nail place, buy a Walgreens, buy a Starbucks. Really specific, right? All right, so that was day one of DragCon. It was okay, and then it got nuts the last, like, half an hour, 45 minutes of the day were nuts and like everyone was coming to the booth 8,000 people had questions it was great but it was just me and it was kind of scary but tomorrow I'm gonna have a whole bunch of people helping me and it's gonna be great and we're going to meet Ivy and Keith for some dinner and some cocktails because we all need it <laughs> okay so we're out for Mexican food and our drinks are on fire and Ivy's really scared because she's never had fire in her face, ever, oh in her life, God. never. And that's Keith, her fiance. It's flaming, ah, yeah. it's flaming. Just like us, <laughs> yeah. All right, I just had to show you guys because well, that's warming up drink now. Oh, mine's gone, mine, mine blew out. Mine's still going. Huh. Oh, it's gone. Oh. We're here, it's almost 11 o'clock. We're just gonna go to bed because it was a long, rough day. Even though it was a short day, it was rough because it was really slow and then it got jam-packed crazy busy for the last like 45 minutes and it was a lot. Um, so we're just gonna go to bed and get up early and do this all again tomorrow for a really long day. 10 to six is when the floor is open tomorrow but we have to be there at like nine in the morning to set up and inventory because I Put the futon down, girl. My mom was getting tired. <sighs> so sleepy. Um, I'm gonna try to video as much as I can. I probably won't be able to because it's gonna be a lot of people all day. And my panel is tomorrow. So I'm excited for that. And um, there's gonna be six of us total on the panel, which is exciting. And we're all hair and wig people, which is fantastic. And I'm excited for that. And... What else? Oh, RuPaul herself stopped at our booth. She was going around to all of the booths and taking pictures and talking to all of the vendors, which I just thought was really cool and really sweet and kind of like down to earth of him to do that. So got to meet RuPaul, picture up right here. It was great. She really tall. She did say, look at all these beautiful wigs. My basement is flooded and then walked away. So I guess that that's a good thing that we flooded her basement. This toilet has been running for like five minutes. All right, good morning. It is seven o'clock in the morning on Saturday the 7th, um, but my body decided to wake me up at 6.38 and I just kind of like checked Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and emails and I didn't reply to any, I have not replied to any emails in like two days. I've been really bad. You're at a convention and that's all your time taken up is doing the convention. Um, so yeah, I also didn't go to bed till like really late. My body just wouldn't shut off. My mind wouldn't shut down. I couldn't fall asleep. You can hear it in my voice that I'm exhausted. Um, I probably fell asleep at around 3, 3.30 or so. Just tossing and turning in bed, trying everything to go to sleep, trying to like focus on something, trying to do like um, body relaxation exercises from acting class growing up and usually that works and this time it didn't work. So, but here we are, drag con day two. And it's the calm before the storm means guys. Look, empty, nobody here. See, no one's in here, they're all out there. You see all the people. Lots of people. Um, this is my outfit of the day. I love this shirt. It's really cute. I'm gonna wear it a lot. And I got my brooch. Today is hashtag no fucks given. Wearing my tennis shoes. Don't care, lots of standing, lots of walking, and I'm doing the panel, so I'm gonna be behind a table, so it's fine. Here we are at the Bobby Pins booth, day two. Look at Miss Lola and her custom style Bobby yes, Pins wig. Yes, and Beyonce there's... Blanc Priya. There it is. 
We're styling and fitting a ton of Bobby Pins girls for their new wigs. So if you are not a Bobby Pins girl yet, you better be. Dragon is on fire today, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, now I'm on. Cool. Okay. Hi. 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 It's Bobby Z from BobbyPins.com. Oh, your thing is going to cover that. Oh yeah, you can't really see it. From Bobby.com. <laughs> from Bobby.com, yes. Look, he got the whole, he got the front display, right? Yeah, I got like... Looked at this year. Yeah, we're just double cameraing right now. It's like the last year you're like, can I have the whole thing in the front? Right. And now you got it. Right. They walk in. Like, are you doing a vlog of the whole thing too? I hope, I didn't get that much so far because I haven't met anybody yet. So. Oh, you haven't? I met like Sherry Vine. Okay. Milk. Milk. Milk's here. Yeah, I love her. Um, I met, oh, I know Sherry Vine. I did it with her once. I was like, I don't know what yes I do. Yeah, I, I mean, I see a few people I haven't talked to them. So. Right, yeah. But uh, hopefully later on I'll meet others. Yeah. And then tomorrow also. So yes, tomorrow might tomorrow. be a better like meet and greet day depending on. Maybe, people. yeah. It's a really good angle for us. I know. Yeah. Your lighting is so much better. Like I look so like I look dead online, but yours I look tan. This is a brand new camera. This Lucky. is recommended by the Nikki Tutorials, the one and only. This oh. is what she calls her selfie camera. Oh, that makes sense. I can and do it's that. really good. It doesn't have a flash, but it's great because it has a little flip-up screen. And I'll do a review on this later for you guys. We're gonna say goodbye, and we're gonna go do some wigs, and he's gonna go shopping. We're gonna go walk things. around. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Well, you're in bed with Bobby, everybody. Welcome. Um, so day two was crazy. It was crazy. Um, we had, at the beginning, we had four people in my booth. One had to leave at noon. And then uh, one of my drag friends came and, like, helped out and sold, like, raffle tickets and stuff, um, which was great. But it was just, it was such a lot. It was so great to see people. I, rem I remembered and recognized so many people from last year. People that won wigs last year in the raffle that were there, and I remembered them. I had people that came by and talked to me last year, and I remembered them. The panel went great. Um, I'd never done anything like that, so I was kind of like, it took me a while to, like, warm up and get used to it. I don't know, it was a great time. It was um, me, Vanity from Wigs by Vanity, Courtney Act, Acid Betty, Tony Bedina, a.k.a. His Vintage Touch, and Larry Sims, who is a celebrity hairdresser. And we just all talked about wigs and hair for 50 minutes, and I did a quick little teasing demo, and Courtney Act held my microphone for me, like right here, and then caressed me a little bit. I liked it. It was great. We sold out of so many colors of wigs, like a whole bunch of raffle tickets um, for the six wigs. We sold a lot of raffle tickets for those. And tomorrow is a shorter day. It's only 10 to 4 tomorrow. So it's only 6 hours versus the full 8. Um, but I actually have to go and pay my booth down for next year. I, I'll do it. Why not? You know, why not? It's fun. It's a learning experience. And you always learn something else to do for the next time around. Oh, and also I just wanted to add that I'm, I haven't been taking a lot of videos actually during the con because it's a lot. And I'm sure people out there are going to leave me a comment like, I wish you had more video during the thing. I wish you had more video during the thing. It's hard because I'm only one person. So I can't really make a video while I'm talking to one person with this other person down the, you know, down the aisle. So it's really hard. I didn't get as many videos as I wanted. Um, <laughs> I can't even talk. I'm so tired. I need this massage so bad. <laughs> also, kudos to me for not having dropped my camera on myself for the seven minutes I've been recording. So it's DragCon day two. It is like already noon. I have not had time to video or anything. I did have coffee and some breakfast sandwich and some fries, but I have a very special guest here in my booth right now. It's a little slow, so I'm taking time to make a video. And look who it is, everybody. Jody Medina, his vintage touch. Yes, so what brought you to DragCon today? Um, I wanted to meet Bobby Banks. Oh, um, and it was just so the food court. They have like really good cheese fries and Diet Pepsi. Have you gone to the, have you gone to the, the taco truck out back? Oh, no, but I, can, the best. I can make those myself, so yeah. it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, we did the panel yesterday it together. It's been the Bobby Pins panel because none of us had anything to say. No, he, that you, was. you brought up a good point. It should have been Matthew Anderson panel yes. moderating. Matthew Me, Anderson. you, and Vanity. Vanity. We yeah. love Vanity. That what next year, called? RuPaul's Drag Con, next year, Matthew Anderson panel. We get yes. out with Matthew Anderson, me, yes. Anthony, Tony. She's I've been cool. calling him Anthony. I don't never call him Anthony. My government name. <laughs> your, go your government name. My government name. Yeah. Yeah, and we'll be at the Biscuits and Gravy booth next year, so come visit us. Ooh, I love Biscuits and Gravy. That's a, that's a, that's dinner, right? It's food booth? 
Yes. Hot food. Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel. <laughs> <laughs> I should probably start helping people at okay. my booth. There's people waiting. Oops. Okay. <laughs> hey everybody, so we're still at DragCon. It's like almost two o'clock and I have another special guest. Look who it is. Patrick Stone! I love this people. Bobby. I love Patrick. Bobby. Yeah. Love it. Come on. Miss Bessie Miles with the winner. And the winner is... Bessie Miles! Oh, I'm kidding. M.A. And the blonde goes to... Alright, we're done. We're done. RuPaul's Drag Con 2016 is done. So happy. It's over. I'm so tired. We're breaking down the booth right now. It looks nuts. We're crazy. We're coming back next year and we're going to be in the same exact spot. Uh, Mayron's loading up too. Look at that. All the makeup in the boxes. It's gone. Um, I have a. Ooh, I'm tripping over empty boxes here. Um, so I just have a couple extra stuff from heads. I literally put them out and started screaming. Don't go to Sally. Save five dollars. Take it. Go free. Um, and then that's that's it. That is BobbyPins.com right there, you guys. That um, is ten boxes. This is not mine at all. <laughs> that's in the booth behind me. This is ten boxes. Yeah, I shipped 11 boxes from New York myself. I got a box delivered to Nicole out here. I got two boxes delivered with my bags and I got I think three or four boxes delivered from inventory and other things here. So it's probably a total of 16 or 17 boxes. Only shipping 10 back. That's great. I shipped six boxes of wigs and we're shipping back one box of wigs that are unopened completely and another box that were the display wigs that are just going to go in my stock for future projects and other things in the future like that, and this is LA Convention Center empty. Just empty, you guys. Everyone's gone. We're all gone. We're going home. Tomorrow we're going to Disneyland. Hey everybody, coming to you live again from the bathroom here in my Airbnb. It is about 11.30 in the evening. Sunday night and Ruth Ann is passed out asleep. Um, I'm not tired yet. Uh, I probably should have asked her for like a Benadryl or something before because I took a Benadryl last night and I was out and it was glorious. Um, and I realized that I hadn't recorded anything kind of talking about drag con, pros and cons from last year or whatever and kind of like expressing how I felt about the whole situation and all that fun stuff. So. Um, DragCon this year was so much more fun than last year. So much more fun. It was a lot more stressful. So much more stressful last year. I had three people working in my booth. This year, I had me in my booth. I had Ruthann in my booth. Um, I had the definitely handsome Dustin and the incredibly adorable Joel was there as well. This year, I honestly kind of still feel like it wasn't enough help. I felt like there was a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff going on. Um, all day and I kind of really never was able to leave like I never took a bathroom break at all I never took like a decompressing break. I did for like a second on Sunday I, Like filled out paperwork for next year and I put my deposit down so I will be back 
for DragCon 2017. I'll be back in the same exact booth right in the front, which is great. I sold a lot more wigs than I did last year. I didn't sell as many accessories as I did last year, but we also weren't hawking them as much as we were last year. They were like in a case on the side. I wish I could have like rearranged my booth, but that case was so big and heavy and it had a, an electric plug for the light. I didn't want to try to move it. So next year we have a couple of different ideas that we want to do to kind of maximize our space. We're going to have the same booth, but maybe laid out a little different. As a whole, it was a fantastic, humbling experience. It was wonderful. Like it was, it was great. It was, it was as stressful as it was, as angry as I got several times during the weekend for just stuff not going my way and stuff not happening. It was an incredibly fulfilling experience and I had a really amazing time just to meet all these people again and especially like the young kids. Like, I don't know if I ever talked about him in another video. There was this adorable, adorable boy. His drag name is now Read a Book. And he came to my booth last year and he was so excited to meet me. Family drove from Vancouver to LA to go to DragCon. Came back this year, I saw him and we were, Ruthen and I had been talking about him and he showed up with his parents and just the most loving, supportive parents ever. And he actually came on day two in drag. He came in drag. And I, I feel like he's 15 or 16, like he was a young kid. I met some other kids that were 12 or 13 doing drag, buying wigs, and it's just like, it's just amazing how kids are growing up now. And not that I'm old, I'm 29, I'm not even 30 yet, but there wasn't that outlet for us, for my generation. And it's just, it's so heartwarming. And Read a Book actually was one of the raffle winners this year. She won the little blonde wig. It, his dad was crying. His dad gave me this huge hug and was like, I love you, Bobby Pins. Like, just the most supportive parents. And there were so many, there were kids. There were kids there, like little, little, little nuggets. There were lots of nuggets there, but lots of like teenagers and preteens. And it just was so cool to see that and to see what drag, how drag helps all those little gay boys in the world. And the happiness and joy that it brings them. And I met this woman, Heather, and um, she came to the booth and she was like, I love wigs, but I never look good in them. They always look weird. I never look pretty. I never feel pretty. I sit her down and pin curling her hair and we're talking and I ask her what brought her to DragCon. Like, what, what brought you here? She had just gone out of a 20 or 25 year marriage. She was getting divorced and she found drag race and it taught her to love herself and it taught her that she was enough and that she was worthy and that it was okay to be single and it was okay to be alone. And she started tearing up while she was telling me the story and I thought that it was just beautiful that we don't realize what we do and how it can affect other people and everything until you hear it and you see it face to face. And you know, I put that wig on her and I handed her the mirror and she bought the alley in electric blue is what we tried on her. And she looks in the mirror and her eyes got so big and she started to tear up and she was like, I look like a woman. She was worried she was gonna look like a drag queen in the wig. She was like, I look like a woman, I, look, I love this. I look, I'm gonna put a picture up of us right here. And um, she was so sweet. She was saying like, she felt so great in the wig and she loved it so much and she was getting so many compliments on it. And she was so happy, like just to see the transformation from when she sat in my chair and just to being like, oh, I don't look at wigs, I don't feel feminine, I don't feel pretty. And she just, she lit up, like she really lit up. She was so happy. And just seeing how, what we do as artists and as creative people affects other people is really, really awesome. And it was the same, and it's the same kind of thing with my panel. Like people were coming up to me after the panel at my booth and they were like, I've watched you forever. I've watched you since the beginnings and the old tutorials back in the day before you even redid Wigland and all that stuff. And these people have been watching me now for years and they feel like they know me. And it's, it's so cool to think about that, that like me as a person, like I affect, I'm affecting people's lives. Like they're learning from me, they're connecting with me from my videos and my posts and my social media and all that stuff. And I'm kind of hoarse that's been, t I, you know me, I'm a chatty 
chatty Kathy. So I've been talking all weekend. I sound crazy. And I'm also trying to keep my voice down a little bit because Ruthann's asleep. So um, Dorothy's Bornak reporting to you live from Los Angeles. You, you don't think about that. And you just never, at least for me, because I'm so in my head and I'm so, is this okay? Is this right? Am I doing something? Am I saying the wrong thing? Am I doing the wrong thing? But I never take time to step back and look at it. And it was actually Dustin that kind of brought that to my attention after he left. Um, he left at noon both days. I forget exactly what he said. He's like, it's amazing watching you because you make everybody around you so happy by doing what you do and being yourself. And he, I think it just takes somebody else to say that and to have somebody else say that to you to make you think about it, you know, and it makes you think. I'm still kind of processing. I'm still wide awake. It's after, it's probably close to midnight now because I've been talking a long time. I know I probably sound and look sad, but I'm really not. Like I'm really, I'm really happy. And it was such a great experience to be a part of and Thank you to everyone at RuPaul's Drag Con for having me as an exhibitor and a vendor and then also inviting me to the panel and having me moderate a panel like me. Moderate a freaking panel at RuPaul's Drag Con? Like, what? And it was a truly humbling and awesome experience. Just like to walk into a room of people that came to see you talk about what you do for a living and like your art. Like, that's freaking cool. It's really freaking cool. And I know that I talk a big game and that I'm very impatient. <laughs> and um, I can sometimes come across as like a bitchy person and stuff just because of my, um, my lack of patience and uh, my nitpickiness. Um, but having a room full of people excited to hear me and five other amazingly talented, gorgeous panelists talk about what we do and what we love. As I'm wheezing, oh, I could probably use an inhaler. Allergies out here in California, nuts. Now oh, my tonsils are getting swollen. I think I'm getting like sick, sick, I really think. My throat's kind of sore. Um, it's just an amazing thing to be a part of and we're making history, drag history, you know, I never would have imagined sitting on my couch in college and watching season one, episode one of RuPaul's Drag Race. I never would have imagined at all that I was A, a part of the family now, I guess, because I'm part of the panel and all of that stuff, but to ever think of what it would become and what it's doing for drag and for the gay community. And I couldn't be happier to be a part of it at all couldn't be happier. I said a lot of things to say, a lot of feelings to get out, and it was just a great, it was a really great weekend and a great trip, and um, tomorrow morning we're going to Disneyland. Neither one of us have ever been to Disneyland, so we're very, very excited. Did you hear that? <laughs> the AC went on in here. It's already cold enough as it is, and now it's even colder, and now it's gonna be loud, because that's, they're telling me to stop talking and go to bed. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give my kind of like final thoughts and about the whole experience and how much I loved it and how happy I was to be a part of it. And you know, um, I'll see you guys next year at DragCon 2017 and I'll also be uploading another video of the rest of my LA trip and everything. So be sure to watch for that. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And remember everybody, hashtag it's called a wig. <laughs>